Okay guys, let's go to our final flight of the morning with the goblin burning the fourth pack and my last one by now I've been learning a lot today with it uh, to adjust it and to especially to find a suitable way to launch it because it's really squirrely as you know by now I have the CG almost there just have a tiny tiny bit of down elevator so I need maybe 10 grams at max on the nose and I think it will be perfect ailerons are absolutely straight not even a millimeter of trim that is a good sign for reduced drag of course and yeah what I've been finding out is that instead of launching it with underarm launch like it is advised I'm finding out that it's much better to launch it with side side arm launch like basically like if you're launching a, a dart you put your front feet well planted and your rear foot well planted and you just rotate your entire body and launch the model in a really steep angle and slide it to the right if possible to counteract the torque roll if you do that there's two advantages first you get a much faster initial speed so it will stabilize much faster and second it will gain altitude much faster also and you can still have some time to correct if anything goes wrong that doesn't happen with under some uh, under arm launch by my experience you launch it and you don't have a lot of power right and you end up with low altitude and if the model wants to rotate under torque you don't have more than half a second to recover and that's too short so I've been finding out at least previous three flights it went nice and easy with no problems with the sidearm launch okay tiny bit of wind now three four miles an hour at max coming from that side so I'm going to also offset a little bit instead of launching it directly into the wind I'm going to offset it a little bit to the right so the wind helps me to rotate right instead of left because if you launch nose straight into the wing if it rotates left you the wind will catch you under the right wing and exacerbate the roll okay so if you have some uh, nose wing you want to offset a tiny bit to the right okay let's get it no more talk 50 percent and sidearm launch let me plant my foot my feet really well and let's get it oh uh, ailerons are in low rates and elevator in mid rates so doesn't get too squirrely on the ailerons if you need to correct so low rates on aileron mid rates on elevator okay let's get it roll didn't launch it too well but still had time to catch it perfectly it went up vertical and I still had to grab the radio and all that and still had time to correct no problem there we go I swerved to the right tiny bit too much but better to the right than to the left trust me <laughs> it will almost <coughs> auto stabilize looks good so that's the idea launch it really hard and you will have time to catch it if anything goes wrong because you have the altitude I'm just cruising at 30-40% power Man, this today is too crowded for my for my liking. Oh, 
Can't get too distracted with this one. Noticing the rolls to the right are not very axial. Maybe something is off angle and probably is because of the crash. <laughs> so let me try to roll to the left. So on the sense of the motor torque and see what happens. Full blast up. A tiny bit better, yes. Don't ask me why, but I prefer to roll to the right. There I go, giving brother again. <laughs> Trying to keep it steady on the climb with brother, and there's no brother. Brain is a phenomenal thing. Oh, sorry about the sun. I think those were the fastest four minutes of my life. Okay, out of the power. That's good. Good one. Okay. Motor kill switch. Hip hip hooray, hooray guys. Four packs and no crash. This is a miracle. <laughs> yeah, but mainly due to the different lounge style. Because, yeah, underarm is a bit too sketchy for me. So. I'll go every time with the dark launching. 